we competed in the Georgia Attorney General um, video contest regarding the opioid epidemic, and we were the runner-up in the state for um, our producing of a video. That It's kind of like a PSA that covers how the opioid epidemic is affecting Georgia today. And what was your part in the video? Are you the star? Are you the producer? Are you the director? <laughs> what did you do? Um, we, it was really a team effort of a lot of explorers working together. Um, all of the explorers that worked on it had a part in the video. Um, and then we all worked together to edit the video as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. But you're the spokesman for the whole group. <laughs> yes. Gotcha, gotcha. And how'd you get nominated for that? Um, it was just an opportunity we had. It so- I thought it sounded like a really good idea um, to cover this really important topic of the opioid epidemic. So I was happy to kind of head it up if, and work with the other explorers to get it done. <laughs> um, so how long did it take you from start to finish to get the video done? Um, not too long because we met on a day that we did not have an explorers meeting to uh, really film the video. And it took us, we once we got all the clips, which took about two to three hours, uh, it took about a week. I think to get it all together and then submit it to the attorney general wow, and his office. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> so our stance we took was to kind of reach younger audiences and highlight dangers that they may not know. The scene depicted us at a party and there were prescription pills involved. So someone overdosed on that. And then we covered um, how the 911 medical amnesty law relates to that. So if you call 911, you won't get in trouble if it's saving someone's life for a drug overdose. Nice. Now, have you had any personal experience with anything like this before? No, I haven't. But through my experience with the law enforcement exploring, I've recognized how much of an issue it is, and especially in recent years, how much more of an issue it's becoming. So it is. I feel like it was a very important message to, to get out and, and try to get people educated on it. Yeah, I agree. So... Video, you, t- you shot it in a day, basically. You had mm-hmm. it edited within a week. Mm-hmm. How long before you heard your results back as far as where you placed in? We submitted the video March 15th, I believe, and then the winners were announced towards the end of April. So it was about a month turnaround before we, we heard about it. But we were just really happy to, to do the project. And uh, as Corporal Van said, Chief Carol Martin always gives us good things that for a meaningful cause that we can do um, to either promote something that's worth knowing about or um, anything through the explorers that helps the community. So it was about a month before we, we heard back. Okay. <laughs> and, and you said it's, uh, is it considered second place runner up? What's the, I believe it was second place in the state. So runner up. So out of the state of Georgia, um, you could either be a high school or college student and submit this video and um, our Explorer post got second. So. Have your friends at school seen it? I have had, yes, some of my friends do. I actually attend a school outside the city district. I'm in the Hall County School District, but I have schools, or I have friends at school that have seen it, and they've been impressed by it. Yeah, yeah. Kids like it when you do cool stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Just curious what kind of feedback you've gotten. And um, But just in terms of locally, uh, the Gainesville Police Department has already shared it on their Facebook page, and it's received numerous shares from businesses in the community. So even just at the Gainesville, the local level, it's kind of already serving its purpose. Even if it's not statewide, it, it is still here at the local level, right. getting that message out. Were there kids that didn't know the laws beforehand who know them now? So I certainly was not as well aware as I am now of the 911 medical amnesty law in Georgia as as I am now before doing it. Um, it is really interesting to know that if, you, if you're at a party or a group of people are participating in illegal activities, if someone has an overdose or overdoses on alcohol, you can get help for them and not be arrested, charged, or prosecuted um, for doing that illegal activity, which is really important because... You know, it kind of highlights that police aren't out there just arresting people, slapping handcuffs on people. They want to watch people thrive and they want to protect people. So this law is really important because it's saving lives. It really is. And a lot of people think it's not a big deal. It's so far away from me. Oh, that's just in big cities. Drugs are, but it happens everywhere. And I mean, it happens here in Gainesville. So 
it's really important to for people to know that life should come first. Would the average student at your, at your school know as much as you know now? Is I, probably not, honestly. I, I do believe sometimes the the terminology can be confusing for the layperson to understand because um, it is narcotics you think bad but there's prescription opioids you think bad but you get those from the doctor after surgery or something so um, there could be benefits to changing the terminology it's so deep-seated now it would certainly be hard to but um, yeah trying to get maybe just illegal drugs something like that so that people understand that using them wrongly is illegal.